In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an action plan infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here I have created this uh, particular eight options here, starting with strategy, objective, collaboration, action, schedule, check, improvement and implementation. And I've added some relevant icons and then some shadow effect for this one. So how this works is when I click, you can use it either a zoom effect or you can use a hyperlink. So I have not used any of this. When I click, it will take me to the strategy where you can add more details here. When I click, it will take me to the objectives and you can add the details of objectives. Likewise, you can create the details for each uh, option. All right. So if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. And if you'd like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 version to do this. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide. Go to insert shapes from the rectangles. Either you can choose this rectangle or the rounded corner rectangle. So I'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangle draw the rounded corner rectangle and make sure this uh, small orange point just drag this outside so we have got a very uh, minor curve there and then you make the height as 2.25 and the width as 3.15 all right shape outline make it no outline move a little bit here and then hold the control shift key just give a little gap here you can see here maybe this much gap then again hold the control shift uh key and then just drag it here so you can see here i've added four so now i'm just going to select all the shapes again hold the control shift key and just drag it at the bottom all right so we end up getting a shape something like this again you can select all the shapes and if you want you can move align it properly if you want to bring it up or bring it down and once this is done, I'm going to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle. I'm going to select uh, this much size, shape outline, make it no outline, shape fill. I'm going to give some different color, right mouse click, go to format shape under fill. I'm going to make it transparent. All right. And then I'm going to reduce the height. You can see here, maybe I want this much. And the same thing, I'm just going to drag it at the bottom. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these four shapes by holding the shift key and then I'm going to select this one. Remember, I'm not selecting any of the rectangles or this one from the bottom. OK, once that is done, I'm going to the shape format, merge shape and I'm going to make it fragment. Fragment, I don't want unwanted text. Now what happens here, you can see here it has come into two uh, different portions. You can see here. And then I can just choose any color of my choice. I can choose this color and I can choose maybe some dark color like this. All right. So similar thing I'm going to do for this. Hold the shift key. Select these rectangles at the bottom and this one also. And again, go to merge shape and just say fragment and then delete the unwanted object. And then you can see here again, this also got uh, into portions. So now again, as I said, depending on your requirement, you can just choose any color. Make sure that one is dark or one is lighter. Okay. So here I can just choose maybe a yellow color and then I can choose maybe a more orange color here. Okay. So any color of your choice, maybe a light color here and I'm going to choose some dark color here. All right. So let me just choose uh, some colors quickly. All right. So depending on your requirement, you can choose any color of your choice. Again, if you want, you can just go to more fill colors and choose any color, nice colors. And then here I'm going to choose maybe somewhat uh, more darker than this. All right. And then here also, let me just choose maybe kind of a light pink or the purple, whichever color combination which you are comfortable with all right so you can see here and here let me just choose maybe a kind of say this color and here make it somewhat more darker color than that all right 
right so once this is done what we need to do is we need to add the text here for example go to insert text box you can add text uh, of your choice okay for example i'm just going to type title here make it center line make it bold increase the size and then hold the control shift key just drag and drop here again in the center and this two i'm selecting again hold the control shift key and just put it exactly in the center here okay then i'm selecting the four titles and i'm just going to drag this down all right and then make sure if the color is not visible you can make this to a white font all right and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert icons so depending on your requirement you need to add uh, 10 icons so you can just choose any icon so some random icons i'm just selecting here okay any icons of your choice you can just uh, drag and drop i want 10 different icons okay so 10 icons i have selected click insert and move this somewhat here and then i'm just going to put one by one here all right you can see here just randomly i'm just selecting but you have to make sure that you choose the right icons for your presentation you can see here maybe this will call, come here this will be here all right so actually i need only eight not ten so let me delete this too so once this is done you can go to insert text box and you can add action point or the title here i'm going to choose the font arial black center align increase the size all right and again any font color of your choice you can choose and make sure it is properly aligned in the center something like this okay so you can see here our uh, slide is ready now to make a duplicate slide or another slide i'm just going to make a new slide here okay let me just delete this and i'm going to choose this particular slide you can see here Control c or i can just paste it Control v here or it's better go to insert shapes select one full rectangle here all right this way then send this to back or then you can just go and change the color of this one i'm just going to choose this color with the eyedropper all right or simple i can just delete this part and then i can just choose this color for my background and then i'm just going to come here and i'm going to select this to control c suppose this is a idea for example all right so i'm just going to select this control c come here control v and i'm going to put here the idea and left align and this icon will come here again if it is if you want white you can make this also white all right so once this is done then you can add any text of your choice so similar slides you can just make it with the same color combination okay so the second slide third slide whatever you have added here you can just keep on adding that particular slides and if you want you can just simply come here and go to the uh, insert all right uh, we are already in the insert so let me just click on the action okay here action i can just say hyperlink okay hyperlink i can click on this one i'll just say a slide which slide i need okay for example slide number three four i've got different slides here so i'm going to make it slide number six click ok and click ok all right so what happens if i do a slideshow and when i bring my cursor here you can see when i click it will take me to the idea slide okay so there are multiple ways you can do it either you can do it through the help of this zoom feature or you can make it the hyperlinks it's up to you to decide uh, because the zoom feature is not available uh, in the older versions of powerpoint so in that case you can use the action if you have the zoom feature then use the zoom feature that will be great for the presentations and one more thing which you like to add one uh, shadow effect here let me just zoom all right for example you want to give a shadow effect for this particular uh, say for all actually so let me just go from the beginning here 
so go to insert shapes and from the lines i'm going to choose the freeform shape i'm going to click here once you can see here i'm going to click here here you can see i'm just clicking on the borders click on this one here and attach it shape outline make it no outline shape will make it black increase the transparency and then select the icons and bring this to front all right so it looks like this so similar thing you can just do with the help of a freeform shape you can do the same uh, shadow effect for the rest of the options